Hello everyone, so in this video, we are going to show you how to get a minimap for Minecraft Java 1.1.3 using Zevo's minimap mod, which we will be downloading on mod Month. Take it away. Yes, so step one, uh, you're going to want to open up your browser of choice. Once you are in your browser of choice, you're going to want to type in modrenf on the search bar. And you're going to want to click on the top result, which should be modrenf.com. Specifically modrenf.com. Then you'll want to click on the discover mods. And now here there are two ways of finding the specific mod we're going for today. Number one, just scrolling down as it's one of the most popular mods here. It's this one. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be searching up zeros, just right, right on top, and you will get these free maps. So, this one is what we're going to be getting today. This is the mini map. This is the world map where you can just full screen it and actually see all the areas you've explored inside of the world. And this is just a fairer version of the mini map for multiplayer. We're going to be getting this one. So you're going to want to click on Zero's minimap on this thing over here. It will load up like this. You'll see a lot of stuff over here. So you're going to want to click on versions. And you're going to want to click on this text on the newest version. And you will see it has two dependencies, but only one of them is a required dependency. So what you're going to want to do here is just right click Fabric API and click open link in new tab. Now you're going to want to go over to this tab. And here you will have Fabric API. You're going to want to click on versions. So here you're going to want to download this one. You're just going to want to go over here and click download. There we go. As you can see, it is now downloaded. So, Fabric API requires some of its own stuff as well. Let's get that sorted now. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in Fabric Minecraft into your search bar. And it will take you to FabricMC.net. All you need to do is click the blue download button. And then click download for Windows. And it's going to download right up here. It's going to give you the fabric installer. Now we're going to go back to the mini map. And we're going to actually download the version. Now that we have all of the files we need. We are free to close our browser. So now that we're done with that step. We're going to want to go over to file explorer. Now that we are in file explorer. We want to click on downloads. And here you'll have the free files you downloaded. So this is a very specific order of how you're supposed to do things. So you run the fabric installer. A little caveat with this is if you haven't ever downloaded Minecraft 1.21.3, you'll have to do that first. But as I've already done it, I don't have to do it again. What you're going to need to do here is touch nothing except the install button as this is everything everything's already set up for the newest version so it doesn't matter so just click on install now that it is installed you can close it and you can delete the installer now you're gonna want to open up your minecraft launcher Now, once you're in your Minecraft launcher, you will see that the uh, Fabric Loader 1.21.3 is already here. And now, you're going to want to click on Installations. And you're going to want to go over to your Fabric Loader installation. And you're going to want to go over to this folder icon. It'll take you to your .minecraft folder. And you have all of your files for all of your mods and uh, all of your different versions of Minecraft. So... What you're going to want to do here is go to the mod section and you will see it's an empty folder. So here it's very simple. You just uh, open up your previous file explorer instance with the downloads. You select them and you just drag them over here. Very simple. 
Now you can close both of those and you are free to just launch Minecraft. It will give you this warning that you are about to play Minecraft Java Edition. That you're about to play Minecraft Java Edition, but it's a modified version of it. So just know about just click I understand the risks and click play. Doesn't really matter. So now that you are in Minecraft, you will see you'll have a splash text, a really funny splash text, like usual, and it will say Minecraft 1.21.3 slash fabric modded. So what you want to do here is just make or open a world. I'm going to be opening a world. Here, you will be able to see you have a mini map at the top of your screen that shows your location, it also shows your depth location, and it shows your coordinates right under it. And yeah, that is how to get Zero's mini map for Minecraft version 1.21.3 using ModRenv. If you want to see more daily tutorials just like this one, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. For more tutorials, yeah! Bye!